kita. <laughs> now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it? Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway! So, it's starting, huh? <laughs> oh man, I haven't been in a trial in like, forever. Oh, so you have experience with trials? Yeah, <laughs> since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Gonta never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. First, let's breathe in. And breathe out. We need to remember our no-no-nos. No pushing, no running, no talking. But communication is the foundation of any discussion. We should not worry about our procedure. Especially since this is not a normal trial. Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Then might I offer the first topic? Don't fucking get ahead of us! You trying to start some shit? C calm down. How about we listen first? Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. 
I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I cleaned them so hard, they bled. I'll begin the conversation then. There's something I found curious. Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? I thought that was strange too! I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. Then Monokuma's the culprit! The doy! Cause this whole class trial was his idea. Oh yeah! Easy peasy! I'm a fucking genius! Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? Of course not! I would never do anything to you guys directly. Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? Mastermind? What's that? I don't know any mastermind. We've never heard of him. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. It's Keyblade over here. Everyone else thinks so too. Does everyone really think that? We'll get to the bottom of this. Before we determine the mastermind, we must uncover the culprit. Then we could start by determining the sequence of events? Let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death. Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. Rantaro's body was found just before the time limit, right? He was killed in the library. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. Rantaro's body was found just before the time limit. He was killed in the library. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on me. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. That means Rantaro was masked. No, that's wrong. I think Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? Why? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. 
but none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. So I don't really think he had the key at all. Also, if the mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. You are correct. The possibility of him being the mastermind is quite low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Or maybe the mastermind told him about it. What? Why would the mastermind tell him that? To lure Rantaro to the library and kill him. Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? Hmm, that does seem plausible. It's very likely the Mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. The Mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. The Mastermind knew about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the Mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect crime. Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? I guess this is a dead end. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. You yap about teamwork and all that, but you still think one of us is the mastermind. Yes, and I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that! Kaede... <laughs> wow, looks like you're determined to face even a cold hard truth. Then here it comes! The cold hard truth! Huh? I already figured out who killed Rantaro. Wh what? Why are you surprised? Cause if he's right, that would make this the fastest class trial to date! How fast was the previous record anyway? Real fast, let me tell you. He was like a leaf on the wind. Oh yeah, I guess now he's one with the wind. Yeah. I think about him this time of year, too! The way he soared through the enemy fleet all badass! Just to die like a little punk. Shut it, you weirdos! This is an important conversation! Kokichi, are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? Yup. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? Oh shit! That's why they're not in any of the pictures! So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. So who the hell is it? It's you! What? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. Before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. Wh what the hell brought this on all of a sudden? I... I just designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. If someone asked me to make cameras, I'd totally ask what they were for. How come you never asked what the cameras were for, huh? Huh? I-I-I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sorta 
passed out. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you, you're sweating. I'm always wet. I'm just feeling extra sensitive, like these big boobs of mine. For someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, you? Come on! Let me up the hook already. D do you want money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea! Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? The person who made the cameras... would have known their blind spots, too. Yeah, well... I didn't make the cameras either! Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I told you I had no idea! Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? I agree with that. I don't think Mew went to the basement either, right, Kyo? Of course she didn't. Mia was in the dining hall during the murder. I saw her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. The pasta on the menu tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his birthday. That's too sad to make sense. That's pops for ya! So there you have it, Muse Alibi. You fucking slug! Why didn't you say so earlier? Good job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. What Gilgamesh level condescension! But which Grail War are you from? Wow, another reference we don't get. <laughs> You must be a hardcore loser. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey, don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion? What? Th that was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. <laughs> You're so mean! Hey, I feel a lot better now. Cool your jets, kid. Samugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, not the entire time. At one point, Sumugi went to the restroom. Oh, so you brought that up after all. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh? Did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! Ow! Why? 
Did you take a firm dump? Or was it a soft one? Why are you assuming she was dropping a deuce in there? But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. You could have just disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. Disguised? No, no! I don't do disguises! I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. I get it! Sumugi can only cosplay as fictional characters. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place! Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable! It's so unforgivable that I break out in cospox if I even attempt it! Yeah, the cospox was pretty gross. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aww, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. Well, fuck you too. Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. So we know that Kirumi, Sumugi, Mew, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Congratulations to the four of you! You can all leave now! Huh? Can they? So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rentaro. So, seven people in total. So the culprit is among those seven? Ha <laughs> ha! But of course! Why are you laughing? That includes you too! Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Wait! Please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. I'll tell you everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Just look at her. She can definitely kill someone. Being so stupid. The culprit could easily be anyone, like Kaito. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm the culprit! Who's the culprit? Who? Gonta is gentlemen. Gentlemen not hurt people. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. Culprit, for fuck's sake! We need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. It's all right, Kaede. We just need to listen to everyone's statements. You can do this, right? I only went because I was invited. Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me! Don't thrust the blame on me! You degenerate males and your thrusting! Ugh! I'm not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, ask my mommy. Really? I have an alibi! I, I am not the culprit, the culprit too.
have an alibi. A little bit suspicious. I would never punch a foe from behind. No one in the cell in the basement. A true Aikido master would never do something like that. Are you talking about me? Punching is permitted in Aikido. Remember, Rantaro is the only one who left in the middle of the sword. Robot like Kibo? None of us there could have killed him. To you guys, a little bit suspicious. I would never punch a remember. Rantaro's the only one who left it. I hear it. Wait a minute, Kaito. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rantaro? That idiot already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and... Hey, wait a sec! Idiot! Is that right, Gonta? Y yes! Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma! Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? Oh, come on! How is looking at bugs supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A terrible idea! Like putting ketchup on a hot dog! But why did you lock the door? Because going to need focus. Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? Because you don't have an alibi! Oh! Gonta just need alibi? Okay, Gonta will get alibi. Just tell Gonta where to find it. The way this debate is going, this will be difficult to refute. <laughs> what will you do? Without an alibi, we'll all choose you. Gonta, please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. But Gonta not sure where to start. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. Okay, Gonta will try, for everyone's sake. To not culprit! Cause to leave AV room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are. To even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AV room's got more than one entrance though. There should have been a door facing the hallway too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance, correct? With that sliding door, you can quickly go in and out of the library. Then he got past the camera somehow and killed Rantaro. Well, that's settled. Let's go home. Is not settled? Going to not culprit! Going to not culprit! To leave AV room, Gonta must walk through game room where friends are. To even reach hallway. If you can't get to the hallway, you can't go to the library. AV room's got more than one entrance, though. There should have been a door facing the hallway, too. The sliding door across from the rear entrance. Correct. With that sliding door. No, that's wrong. It's not possible to use the sliding door. 
You saying I'm wrong? You got a lot of ass to be contradicting me. Did you mean to say sass? I am. Um, think you left out an S. The sliding door always jams. You're only able to open it a crack. The only part of your body that would be able to go through is your arm. And there was no indication of the door being forced. There was dust on the track. In other words, the chance they came out the sliding door is zero. Uh, I see. So, I made a mistake. How rare. It's not that rare for you to make a mistake. Your entire existence is a mistake. Vicious little... If Gonta couldn't use the sliding door, then in order to get to the library... He'd have to go through the game room, but I didn't see him at all. See? Gonta tell you he not culprit. No, we cannot confirm that just yet. Eh? My apologies, Gonta. I do not mean to put you on the spot like this, but... Because I promise to do my best, I will fulfill that responsibility. Uh, are you saying Gonta could still be the culprit? There is the possibility that Gonta killed Rantaro from the AV room. From the AV room? How? Uh -huh! I didn't know that was a possibility! Not only could he have killed Rantaro from the AV room, but also... He would not appear in any of the pictures from the cameras placed in the library. Whoa! Perfect! But wait, then how did Gonta kill him? Well, it's obvious to this glamorous girl genius. But maybe explain for these dimwits. First, I will explain the layouts of both the AV room and the library. The sliding door in the AV room faces the rear door of the library. Because of this, it is possible for Gonta to have killed Rantara while he was in the AV room. Um, but how though? In order for the murder to take place, the rear door of the library must be opened. Oh, uh, wait a sec. Isn't that impossible? The AV room sliding door doesn't open, so you can't get into the hallway. If you cannot enter the hallway, how would you open the rear door to the library? Although you cannot fit your whole body through the sliding door, an arm would suffice. It would be possible if you used a particular item in the AV room. I get it! Is it the projector screen? That is correct. You can make a long pull if you roll up the screen. It would be possible to reach the library door with it. If you use the rolled up screen to reach the library's rear door, then you can open it. The screen itself is quite heavy, but that would not have been a problem for Gonta. Yeah, no problem for Gonta. Oh my, how honest. If you open the library door, the camera would take your picture. Uh, actually, the camera wouldn't be triggered just by opening the door. Shuichi and Kaede's pictures were like that as well. The shutter only went off once someone set foot into the room. Okay, so it was possible to open the library door, but where does that get us? Gonta still couldn't have gotten from the AV room to the library. Gonta did not enter the library. He killed Rantara while he was still in the AV room.
So does that mean Goncha threw the shot put ball? Wait! Wait, I say! Why would anyone do something so crazy like throw a... Wait! That's actually not crazy at all! Throwing a shot put ball is totally normal! Yes, the act of throwing a shot put ball could lead one to use it as a weapon. Even if a person couldn't fit through the space, a shot put ball certainly would. Rentaro's body was across from the AV room sliding door as well. As long as the rear door of the library was open, he would have been able to hit the victim. That's quite the distance, though. And that shot put ball was pretty heavy. Did you forget already? Gonta easily picked up the heavy manhole cover. It would definitely be feasible for him to throw a shot put ball at his target. Yep, a walking talking Roomba can't compare to a mighty beast like Gonta. That Roomba remark is probably not about me, as I have a variety of custodial functions. Well, Gonta? Can you throw a shot put ball from that distance? Yes, probably. You're too honest, Gonta. <laughs> You're so cool, Gonta. You could be the ultimate shot putter. Well, I've heard enough. Gonta's the culprit. Wait! Gonta never hurt anyone! Not even insect! Gonta telling truth! Gentlemen never tell lies! Well, there you have it. What do you guys think? I would like to believe him, but without evidence, we cannot. So we agree, Gonta's the culprit! Gonta not culprit! Honest! A typical degenerate male excuse! Rantaro's corpse in the AV room door. Do line up with one another. There are no obstacles in the way. If one opened the back door of the library, one could throw a shot and strike true. No way the average person could make that shot. But with superhuman strength like Gonta's, it's a different story. Afterward, to close the back door to the library, he would have used the World Jump Projector screen again. See? That's all there is to it. So we agree, Gonta's the culprit! Gonta not culprit! Honest! There are no obstacles in the way. No, that's wrong! It would have been impossible for Gonta to have thrown that shot from the AV room because there was an obstacle between Rentaro and Gonta. Obstacle? The moving bookcase. When Rantaro was killed, it should have been open. Yup, that's our evidence. The bookcase door was open when he was killed. I get it. It's in this picture. Here, look. These two pictures were taken by the camera facing the moving bookcase. These photos were taken moments before Rantaro was killed. The bookcase door is completely open here, and then it closes automatically. 
So by the time we entered the library, the door had already closed itself. Before Rantaro was killed, the bookcase door was open. Even if Gonta did throw the shot, it would have hit the bookcase instead. I see. Well, that pretty much shuts the book on that theory, then. If that's true, then there's no possibility that Gonta is the culprit. What? Why are you making this so complicated? Just be the culprit already. Uh, sorry. I don't think you need to apologize. Yeah, that's right. A man shouldn't apologize so easily. I should be the one to apologize. I am sorry for accusing you, Gonta. No, Gonta understand. Cause we gotta find culprit. Well said! For a degenerate male, you're actually pretty reasonable. Ugh, I hate this sentimental crap! Why's that? It's nice when everyone gets along like this. Are you stupid or something? I can't stand people having a good time! Daddy was too evil to feel ashamed for being evil. We could learn a lot from him. Don't mind me. I'm not actually taking notes. I'm placing bets on racehorses. I'm jonesing for a leaf. I need a raccoon tail to chase my dragon. It's good that Gont is in the clear, but don't break out the confetti just yet. We're out of suspects now. On top of that, we still don't even know how Rantaro died. So we only know what the weapon is? How are we supposed to find the mastermind with that? We know the murder weapon is the shot put ball. But where did the culprit get it? I think it was from the warehouse. I saw track and field equipment there. Then anyone would have been able to obtain it. We need more information. What's wrong, Shuichi? Huh? Uh, uh, it's nothing. Ah! How do we find this darn culprit now? Hey, culprit! Quit hiding! Just be a man and fess up already! We don't even know if they're a guy or not, though, right? Or if they're even human. Are you referring to me? Don't worry, you guys. We're one step closer to the truth, so don't give up. Try to remember what happened. We can find more clues left by the Mastermind. Clues? What kind of clues? Like, if Rantaro was deceived by the Mastermind and went to the library, Maybe somebody saw Rantaro having a suspicious conversation with someone. It would be a good idea to figure out who knew about our trap. Either way, anything you guys remember might be able to help with the case. Yes, yes! But are you sure the culprit is also the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Why? Then what Atua just told me about how the culprit entered the library is correct! Huh? I didn't hear anything. Ah, oh, that's right. Only I can hear the voice of Atua. Then I will speak on Atua's behalf, as his prophet. If the culprit is the mastermind, they could have entered the library while avoiding the cameras. Serious? There's a way to do that? Super serious, brother. You're a two, it sounds like a shady weirdo. Atua says... I should continue explaining on his behalf. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Only Atua knows the truth behind this incident! The culprit.
secret was hiding in the library the whole time. Before Kaede and Shuichi even placed the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door! So you're saying the culprit was lying in wait there? If that's true, the suspects are those who were alone at the time of the incident. The only ones who didn't go to the dining hall or basement are... Kokichi and Kibo and Ryoma, right? I knew the culprit was a male! Yahaha! Behold Atua's divine logic! The culprit was hiding in the library the whole time. The culprit was supposed to the cameras. Where would they have hidden? Inside the hidden door. No, that's wrong. Wait a minute, Angie. I don't think it was possible to hide in the hidden door. What? You dare challenge Atua? I don't think the hidden door was ever used. While investigating the mastermind, I placed dust on the card reader. If anyone swiped their card key, the dust would have fallen. We already confirmed during the investigation that there was no dust on the floor. The bookcase hadn't been opened, so I doubt anyone was hiding in there. The fog has lifted. <laughs> you still got a ways to go. Huh? W what do you mean? The culprit could have been in the library before the cameras were even set. You won't be able to prove anything with weak reasoning like that. Even if we rule out the hidden door, the library's got no shortage of hiding spots. There's piles of books all over. Since the culprit was there before the cameras were placed, they could have been hiding there, you know? They took out Rantaro, then took off. But if the culprit killed him and ran away, wouldn't they have been caught on camera? Not if they went back into hiding right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. We join everyone and we'd be none the wiser. Not if they went back into hiding right after killing Rantaro. Then, once everyone's gathered around the body, all they gotta do is act like they just ran in. Rejoin everyone? Wiser. I'll cut your words! The 
culprit met him inside the library? That doesn't seem possible, though. Let's hear it, then. What's your reason? If you take a look at the three pictures from the camera we placed near the front door... This is when Shuichi and I met up with Kaito and Tenko, and then rushed in. This one shows the other four people running in after they heard Tenko scream. And finally, everyone else coming in after hearing the body discovery announcement. You can clearly see everyone entering the library in these pictures. It wouldn't make sense if there was someone hiding in the library the whole time. Well, that does cover everyone now, doesn't it? I guess the one who still has a ways to go is me. Don't worry about it. It's better to think about each possibility anyway. Right, Shuichi? Hmm? Ah, um, yes. So the real question is how the culprit entered and exited the library. We cannot continue until we address that problem first. It's quite the mystery. How did the killer avoid being caught by the cameras? Almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Your upper half, to be specific. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. Himiko is really gung-ho about her invisible culprit theory! Um, yeah, no. There's no way someone snuck into the library through the vent. When I set the cameras, I also stacked some books in front of the vent. If someone did crawl in and out from the vent, the books would have collapsed. While we were investigating, they were still neatly stacked the way I placed them. Maybe they put the books back when they left the room. That would be quite difficult to achieve on such a narrow bookcase. If we've ruled out the vent and doors, then how'd the culprits get in and out of the library? Maybe... Divine Intervention? Gonta no can think of any other way to enter. Eureka! I know how the culprit got in the library! The front door! Um, have you been paying attention? The camera would have taken their picture. Not if the culprit timed their movements around the camera intervals. Huh? Intervals? What is that? Basically, the culprit knew about the cameras and their intervals. So they snuck into the library between camera shots to avoid appearing in the photos. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty and brains. Why? It's just not fair. Mew, what's this interval you're talking about? Huh? Oh, now you're asking me. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. That's the first time I'm hearing about this. Why didn't you tell us from the start? Hey! <laughs> 
but I, I told your little beta boy toy after I gave you the remodeled cameras. What? Sh Shuichi? Uh, I I'm, I'm sorry. I... I guess I forgot to tell you. How could you forget to tell me? I didn't think it would affect the plan. I... I didn't realize it would matter. I guess I just forgot to mention it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I forgot. What a pitiful excuse. Yeah... That's pretty much a lie. N no it's not a lie. He probably just forgot. There was so much going on at the time. It's only natural to forget, you know? Yeah. Let's put that aside for now and talk about the camera intervals. Each interval lasted for 30 seconds, correct, Mew? Yeah, sure. I'll explain it again to you mushheads. The three cameras that Kai Idiot and Puichi placed go off when they pick up movement. From there, it takes 30 seconds for the film to auto-roll to the next photo. So, for 30 seconds, anyone could have entered the library without their photo being taken? That may have been enough time to kill Rantaro and exit the library. It's definitely enough time! You just gotta move at lightning speed! I see, I see! Then there's no doubt the culprit made use of the camera's intervals! That means the culprit was Mew all along, since she knew about the intervals! Don't be an asshole! I have an alibi! Remember the dining hall? Oh, yeah... Well, <laughs> who else knew about the intervals? Hmm... Now, who was it again? Shuichi. Well then, does this mean that he is the culprit we have been seeking? Shuichi! Hey, what gives, Shuichi? Shuichi would never do that, right, Shuichi? You had better speak soon. Your silence only damns you further. That's up already! Did you kill Rantaro? Hey, Shuichi, what's gotten into you? Don't tell me you're gonna plead the fifth now. <laughs> oh man, this is getting good! Entertain me, peasants! Making me nervous! I 
need to know who the culprit is. But I'm not paying attention, so it's okay. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. I suppose that's one lesson we can take away from this case. threshold of an amazing adventure. I cut off the leg before the poison spread! By spring, flowers will grow from the stump! something already. Your tongue-tied silence speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit. Wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? Were you really together the whole time? Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. So that's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro! No! Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone! Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I'm not being emotional here. I I'm saying it with conviction! Get it? The security alarm didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Who set the security sensor on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? Huh? Yeah, Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm? A, a lie? Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor... ...to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker!
The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot could make that mistake. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. No, that's wrong! Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then... We wouldn't have been able to take that picture. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Oh, that? Easy to explain. Well, you see... Uh... I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. You're giving up that easily? Yeah... I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken in. So you see? Shuichi can't be the culprit! Now wait just a minute. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's gonna check the basement, he actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Uh, how needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer. What a plot twist! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Luigi, please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not culprit, are you? Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn yourself in?
Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. But he had it turned off. And so when Rantaro moved the bookcase, a picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer, Shuichi hid in the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro! And then, he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot! Afterward, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened! Praise be to Atua! We've solved this case! So Shuichi was just using Kaede. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. I'll turn this lie into the truth. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Forgot? To tell you the truth. It was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? Uh, of course! Come on, would I lie to you guys? That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meatbags. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Like less than three? Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? <laughs> I most certainly have, at least. How creepy you are! I'm sure that person didn't want your love! Kaede and Shuichi are pretty buddy-buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe, Kaede? Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now, which is classic degenerate male behavior. Yeah, I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right! I agree! But I don't know if Atua agrees. Cause right now it's his nap time. This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. Hold on! Split? Did you just say split? You did! I heard it! I heard it with my belly button microphone! So wait, your ears don't do anything? The ultimate 
Academy is proud to present its very own Morph Phenomenal Trial Grounds! Morph Phenomenal Trial Grounds? The trial Grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that! You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Gota! But Mew's silent about intervals, too. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito! Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. Kibo! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it! We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. You have to believe me! Shuichi is not the culprit! If we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice! And if that happens, everyone will be executed! I definitely won't let that happen, even if it costs me my life! Kaede... Yeah, it's just like Kaede said! Shuichi ain't the culprit! Gonta believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Well, if Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi. Even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realized something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. <sighs> I thought so. Shuichi. Answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. Picture? 
picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious, the way Rantaro was acting. Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera. But that must mean he noticed the camera we set up. That's true. But when did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. So he tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered, and that's when this picture was taken. If that is the case, we must find the reason why he noticed the camera. You're confusing everyone! Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? And the answer is in this picture. I get it! Because of the flash, right? Yeah, the flash? Yes, the flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you tell the flash went off? Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have. Remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. This is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. And this is the picture of Rantaro. Whoa! The brightness is totally different! Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there is a disparity in brightness. Because only the camera aimed at the hidden door had the flash turned on. What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. A mistake, maybe? It's no mistake. There was an objective here. That camera was placed for another reason. Another reason, huh? I get it! Flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. Hmm? Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right, Shuichi? The culprit of this incident is...
No doubt about it. Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the Mastermind. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already, right? But you can't do that. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. Kaede, I know what you want me to do. That's so cool. It's cool, but... I understand. I'll do it. You can trust me. I won't let your wish... ...go ungranted. Kaede is the culprit. Huh? Kaede did it? Wait! That's not possible! Right, Kaede? Kaede? Wait! Did she really. <laughs> Just kidding! Just kidding? Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? Shh, come on, guys! Like I could! When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. Yes, no way Kaede could be culprit. Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? My hands are only strong enough to play piano. Then accusing you of being the culprit is... <laughs> yup, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. Right, Shuichi? No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. No, I'm not joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rantaro. What the hell did you just say? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Of course I am. Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot put ball. 
should become clear when you consider where she used it. Where she used the shot put ball? Huh? What? I'm lost, you guys! I have an alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Kaede never saw Rantaro. Then how'd she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. Rantaro was killed in the library, after all. That's the only explanation. In which case, it's impossible for me to be the culprit. I have an alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom standing watch with Shuichi. Kaede never saw Rantaro. And how'd she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. That's wrong! Kaede didn't use the shot put ball at the scene of the crime. She used it at the first floor classroom, where we were keeping watch. Hold up. How could she have hit Rantaro with a shot from a different floor? She rolled it. She rolled the shot from the first floor classroom and hit Rancaro. I am skeptical that she could perform such a feat of accuracy. So it was a magic shot put ball? Yeah, that's not possible. It is possible. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems you already knew about that. Classroom's bet. If you were to roll the shot in there, it would reach the library. I see. That air duct connects the classroom to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent, passes through the duct, and comes out of the air vent above the library bookcase. How could she have hit Rantaro from all the way over there? The vent was way too far from Rantaro's body. So it was just a coincidence? What kind of coincidence is that? Hmm, what a mystery.
the shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Yeah, that's impossible! It's not like it started rolling on its own. It fell off the bookcase onto Rantaro's head. Maybe the shot was on the floor. And Rantaro tripped over it, causing him to hit his head on the bookcase? Watch out so you don't slip and fall! What if Rantaro's corpse moved on its own? Like he was standing under the vent when the shot hit his head. Then he walked a few steps before he finally dropped dead! Hey, Shuichi. Don't lose sight of the truth. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike? Then Charles head from a distance. Yeah, that's incredible. It's not like it started rolling on its own. I agree. It's just like we almost said. The shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell on Rantaro's head. It rolled along the bookcase? I did say that, but would the shot have rolled that conveniently? It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. They used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. The shot's path was directed by books? How would that even work? Ah, it would be easier to explain with the floor plan of the library. That's it! New, I recall that during the investigation... You said you would use your drone to make a floor plan. Oh yeah! What happened with that? Ha! I've already developed the photos and drafted some sketches. Then let's look at it. Maybe we all find Clue. Please, Mio. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. Voila! Feast your eyes on these babies! It's just as I thought. Hmm? What is? See? The books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Rantaro's body was found. Oh! Shuichi is right! Indeed, they are stacked like stairs. I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? Yes, I'm sure of it. The shot was rolled into the classroom vent and came out in the library. If the vent was open, the shot would have maintained momentum. And you did that, right, Kaede? You made sure the vent was open. You have a really good memory, Shuichi. When the shot came through, the stacked books made it change direction. It then rolled down the path made by the books. The books were stacked in rows so that the shot wouldn't fall off. At the same time, the books blocked the shot from view.
Then, when the ball was directly above Rantaro, it changed direction, rolled along the groove of the open books, and fell on top of his head. And it was the camera flash that lured him to that exact spot. A setup that complicated is almost like a Rube Goldberg machine. So Kaede created this mechanism? Well, it would be... Wait, even with the Rube whatever setup, when did she roll the ball into the duct? That's right! Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? That's it! The moment we ran out of the classroom. When the sensor went off, I ran out first, and then Kaede followed. But just before she left... Of course, the ultimate detective would remember all that. Your words and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on! Don't just jump to conclusions! I've still got a lot of questions! <laughs> That's weird! Why do you sound so desperate? There's nothing weird about it! There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. Yeah, going to not believe it either. What? Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? If that shot was rolling through the vents, it would have made a ton of noise. Indeed, so much noise. Rentaro would have heard. Yeah, some noise ain't a big deal. Of course it's a big deal. I refuse to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? That's wrong. The murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast so the library would not have been completely quiet at the time. Oh... So that ghastly video drowned out the sound of the shot rolling. What? Kaito, are you done now? D damn it! So it's true then? You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom. And when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase.
And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? She have even hidden it. That's it. Coyote's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. But we should not blame him for that. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. That clears it all up, then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood! No, something still doesn't fit. Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Huh? You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder in cold blood is just not in her character. I truly believe that. I believe in her. But... Why? Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief in you is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'll show you your truth. Still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. You think I wouldn't do it? Ah! I'm the one who killed Rantaro! That's the truth of this case! And that's all there is to it! Remember what I told you? You have to fight for the truth. Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Don't look away! 
away from the truth! Please stop! Just stop! Remember what I told you? Do you know what I was trying to do? You weren't persuaded by Monokuma. And you weren't trying to save yourself. What you were trying to do was kill the Mastermind. Kill the Mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She was targeting the Mastermind. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? I see! Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by... Killing the mastermind? But it's all my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. It's all my fault. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. Stop. That's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault. Kaede. Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you end all of this? What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then, I want you to end this. That's my final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies.
This is the truth of the case. It all began two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive. The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right, the shot put ball. They put the cameras, as well as the shot, in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved a pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one... I didn't even notice their trick. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group enter the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. This set the murder in motion. 
Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with the flash on. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. The shot kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. I imagine, seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought, The mastermind is dead. The game is over. Now we can all go home. But their wish didn't come true. Because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder. In an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. That's the truth behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. And that concludes the events of this case. No, Kaede did it? Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us, and I firmly believe that to be the truth. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. You guys are so nice. Even though I betrayed you all. No! That's not true, Kaede! You were trying to save all of us- Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! <laughs> Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastards! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote! And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. At last! The heart-racing excitement, 
as the Blackened and the Spotless finally face off! It's voting time! the result! <laughs> Who'll be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one! Absolutely right! I'm glad. What? Don't screw around! That's not true. But... Um... Yeah... Therefore... That's right. You really don't get it. Wait! Ah, uh, no! Right! I 
know that! Um... Man... That's right. Then... Because... Well then... Sorry. What? Uh, okay. Let's see. Maybe. Sorry. What? I see. Uh, okay. Because... 
That's right! Time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here exosols. It's cruel, but it's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I! Gonta will face you all! Times like this are why Gonta became strong! Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta! This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines! Yeah, I'll help. I can... Everyone stop! Stop it. Kaede? I... Why? No. Huh? You know? I believe in you! You have to live! It's a promise. Yeah. I shall take that request. <laughs> Bye. Well now. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. Damn it! Thank <laughs> you. 
Screw around. Is that so? Too bad. 
Damn. Well. It's getting interesting! Clench your teeth! Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you hit him! Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you! That she passed her wish on to you! But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma! You call yourself a man?! Damn it. Dumbass. For now... Mm. Then... <laughs> Sorry. Um... Uh, um... But... No. <sighs> um... Yeah. Listen. I mean... Huh? That's right. Uh, 
Okay. Listen up. I mean... I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. <laughs>